You probably have seen a picture of this before in your study of Kabbalah or as you're going cruising the web. And I'd like to take a few minutes and basically describe to you what this is. First of all, it is a picture of the Tree of Life. It is the emanation or it is the uh, way that God interacts with man. For instance, at the top, which is called Keter, which is the head of the Tree of Life or head of the Sfirot, is also linked with Malchut, which is the bottom of the Sfirot. Remember when Yeshua said, as below, so above, this is what he was meaning. This is what he was pointing to. This is what he was trying to teach his disciples, that everything is affected by what we do as believers here on this earth. You see, as there is a stirring below, there is a stirring above. Many people have the idea that they're waiting on God. This is incorrect. What's actually happening is God is waiting on you. You do the stirring below, and then there will be a stirring above. Now, as we head down from the tree, we see the word or the emanation or the spherot, chokhmah. This just simply means wisdom. This is how we relate all to one another and to the top part, which is cater. Wisdom is the beginning. Then it flows to bina. Bina is the Holy Spirit or the Ruach, as we call it in Hebrew. Now notice, Kedar, Chokmah, and Bina are all related to one another. You see, this is what we call, in our understanding, the Father, the Son, and the Ruach, or the Spirit. This is the top part of the Tree of Life, or the Sphero. Now let's move down the tree. The next emanation, or the next Sphero, that we come to is... Hased. Now, Hased is loving kindness. Hased is the good feeling that we have when we're in the presence of God. You see, Hased is linked with Father Abraham. Why is that? Because Father Abraham was filled with loving kindness. Now, Father Abraham was married to Sarah. Now, Sarah, she was the one that kept him in balance. You see, he wanted everybody to come over and have a Sabbath dinner. She understood that somebody had to wash the dishes. <laughs> so, the opposite of chesed is gevura, which is fear. And as the word says, the fear of Isaac. You see, that's restraint. And that's what you need in your life. You see, if you are too filled with always reaching out to people, always trying to help people, you see, you're moving in too much chesed. You've got to balance yourself out with gevura. Now, in the Passover Seder, remember how you lean to the left? Well, that's just not something that we do out of tradition. That's Kabbalistic. What do you mean? Because leaning to the left means that we are drawing Hased to Gevurah. In other words, we want to make sure that Gevurah, restraint, is balanced out with loving kindness. Now, so the point is to have loving kindness and to have restraint in your life. Yes. But it's not either, it's not both extremes. It is that you find a balance. And what's the balance of Abraham and Isaac? <laughs> the answer to that is Yaakov. Yaakov is Tiferet. Tiferet is beauty. What do you, what do you mean beauty? How, how is beauty accomplished? Beauty is accomplished in your life when you balance out loving kindness with restraint. If you have too much restraint, go to loving kindness. If you have too much loving kindness, go to Gavura. The best way to balance both extremes is to hold them by the ends, and then you will be balanced with Tferet, which is truth, which is beauty. Because we all know that it's not loving kindness that sets us free. We all know that it's not um, restraint that sets us free. What sets us free is the truth. The truth is sets us free, or the truth makes us free. And that truth is Yaakov, who is truth, beauty, or the culmination and the balance of 
Abraham and Isaac. You see, you have a thesis, an antithesis, and then you have a synthesis. That's what Yaakov is all about. Now, let's don't stop there. Let's continue down the tree to Netzach. Now, Netzach is Moses. And across from Moses is Hod. And who is Hod? Hod is Aaron. Now, you've got Moses, the lawgiver. You've got Aaron, who is the priest. Aren't those enough? Nope, not quite. You've got to have the next pharaoh, which is Yesod. Yesod is symbolic of Yosef or Joseph. And he is the one who balances out Netzach, who is like the parent, who always wants to oversee and see how things are done correctly. Hmm? Then you have Hod, which is the receiver. He wants to make sure everything is done in beautifulness. Everything's done in beauty in your life. But, they, but having those is not enough. You have to have your sowed. And your sowed is symbolic of the pelvis area. Because your sowed, or your safe, was able to control himself sexually. And that's the importance of having a sowed in your life so that you can correct or control your urges. Now, the last sura is malchut. Malchut is a receiver from all the above. You see, Malchut receives from Yesod. Malchut is the female, the feminine part of God. Shkina. She is the beautiful one that receives from Yesod. And so, if everything in your life is in balance, from Malchut, which is as below, so everything will also be balanced with cater, which is as above. And then all things will be restored unto the Father, and you will be able to walk as Yeshua walked in this life.